Hey everybody, welcome back to Factorio, and today we're going to work on our chemical science packs over here. And I've gone already and set it up, ready to go, but there are some steps that we need to take before we can do that. And uh, as soon as I get some of these going, then what I will do is try to get some uh, research going for, let me just quickly show you guys, uh, for like these projectile damage and all those, those things. I think I did talk about it in the last episode, but um, yeah. Now, we're going to focus on this. And what they require is a sulfur, advanced circuits, and engine units. Now, engine units are easy to make. I uh, have a string over here, but uh, we will, we are, we're we going to work uh, at the bottom over here. So, quickly want to talk about like sulfur and advanced circuits require oil. Those are two oil products. And... I don't know if I showcased this last episode, but I did go ahead and grab this and this yield of oils over here. I have a train track running all the way to there, there, and there, like crude drop off over here at the bottom. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to get this started because it is uh, it's a good stepping stone. It's one step closer to getting bots and things to help us automate a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot. Yeah, a lot of things. This is an oil refinery. It collects the um, uh, crude oil and turns it into petroleum gas. Um, basically, this is the only recipe that you can get. i just do this quickly. It's just basic oil processing. It's that input over here, export at the bottom over here. And I have a few tanks here ready to go. But here at the top, that is going into plastic production, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, there will be advanced oil processing somewhere. Uh, I think, yeah, this one, um, which will unlock like the recipe for oil, advanced oil processing, which is just like solid fuels, oil cracking, all sorts of all sorts of cracking, and uh, yeah, like we if it comes up, then I will talk about it. But yeah. So without further ado, let's go ahead and plop you guys down. As we can see, now these are working. We have a little flame coming up here at the top. Very, very nice. And we have a blueprint over here, which is for plastics. Now plastics, they require charcoal or coal and petroleum gas, and that will produce some uh, plastic bars for us. Uh, so I'm going to set it up this way. Uh, very dirty looking uh, but I did leave some room for expansion if we do need some more plastics I think we might at some stage just produce plastic at somewhere else but for now this should do so let's go ahead and hook up the coal on this line over here and then this line I'm running right now on that will be for our plastics and then I don't know what the other four lines will be but this is just for the coal and what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the power. Like so. And I messed up something. Somewhere along the lines. Ugh, stop moving me. Like that. There we go. So, I just quickly want to check how's the power. Power is brilliant. It's good. It's working. I'm very happy about that. And as we can see, a beautiful white line running this way. Uh, take about, what, two seconds? No? One second to craft. Okay, so, with these science packs over here, we need advanced circuits. Now, advanced circuits, also a plastic product. Advanced circuits, or red circuits, are crafted over here. And, as we can see, it requires plastic bars, copper cable, and green electronic circuits. Uh, we do have this little line over here, which is our green ones. Now we are going to import the red or the uh, plastics and the yeah, plastic bars and electronic circuits up here. So let's uh, quickly do that. And then what I also have over here is some uh, copper cable production. Uh, I think it is a good time to start this guy up. So, and for some reason I misplaced that cable. Okay. It is now all working well and fine. Power is still going very, very well. This is a very slow production. Very, very slow. 
As we can see, just a f minor amount of these guys are being produced right now. Very, very minor. Like this takes about, what, six seconds. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six times two. So we're getting two per second instead of one, which is brilliant. Just marvelous. So as we can see, well, not really the next like next thing. Uh, advanced circuits will let. I'm just gonna let that uh, build up a little. This is gonna take some time to saturate that line, but for now, we are going to focus on the sulfur part over here, and then the engine, and then the advanced circuits. So sulfur down here, right over here. Sulfur production, very simple. It's an oil product. And all you need is petroleum gas and some water. Okay. And I thought that we are going to start with um, advanced oil processing, but I've completely forgot about everything. Uh, so I was slightly mistaken. So we have a pipe that is going down here. And advanced oil processing, it does need um, water to work. That's why I have this pump here. I pre-made it, pre-placed it. And it was not needed at all, but luckily for the sulfur, that is needed. So sulfur and petroleum gas, well, petroleum gas and water for the sulfur over here. Let's go ahead and plop down the necessities, which is the power. That, that, and that. Now these produce extremely quickly, like one second you get two. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twenty-four. Because we have 24 of these guys up here. And this is a little bit overkill, I think. They are going to keep on producing while these take about 24 seconds to produce. Okay, so while this is working, we can now go ahead and focus on the next part of this, which is the engine units, which is just up here. Now, engine units. They take about 10 seconds to produce. These guys... They require two engines per second, so we are going to need like 20 of these, or 10 to produce one, 20 to produce two per second. So I feel, I feel like more like 10 seconds, you get two, because of how that works. And what they need is steel, iron gear wheels, and pipes. And over here, I've already gone and laid out a couple of things. So first of all, let's go ahead and grab the steel for this top line, which is going to go on the outside for the red inserters. So the next is steel plates and well, uh, iron gear wheels and pipes. Very, very little. It's like one gear, two pipes and one of these. Produce two every second. So that is fine. All it needs now is um, some iron and pipes as well. You can take a look. Um, every half second it produces one pipe. But I think the engine units require two pipes. So one of these would have been fine. But I feel like with the um, um, like large amount of assembly machines we have here, we needed a lot more. So over here... Let's go ahead, this line, and add some iron plates to the uh, whole setup. Now that I think about this, uh, I think we need to run some cable edge over here. Let's add an electrical pole, let's say, over here. And now it is picking up all the uh, needed ingredients. It will store a little bit of it in itself for two rounds. And then over here, we can see our engines are now not working because I screwed something up. Obviously, I did. There we go. So all of these are now running. These are all running very good. So I have an output over here that goes into this belt, which is just going to pull over here. Okay, now just to wait a little and see what... Uh, how can we, uh, how long it takes for us? So hold on, we'll be right back. Okay, I let some time move forward and, uh, well, time pass actually. Um, and now we got some backlog over here. I'm still waiting for everything else to 
get a little bit of backlog, but uh, that's going to take some time. Let's go ahead and start the research. I was thinking to do the weapons first and then the lab research speed. Um, reason being is that next episode, I was thinking we're, we're going to do some alien hunting. I think that is, that's our next big step right there. So, yo, how's our power doing? Yeah, still good, actually. Very surprising. Well, I mean, we do have two big power stations running, so yeah. And that is slowly working. Very nice. Alright. And that is of the uh, science, what is it, chemical science packs for today. I am very tired. It is late at night for me. So thank you so much for joining me here on Factorio. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. And I will see you guys next time. Take care and bye-bye.